next, Adam checks out something that takes hobbies to new heights. Weekends are the perfect opportunity to indulge in activities we enjoy. Some people play golf, others race billy carts. And some people prefer to shoot rockets. Oh yeah, these folks are rocket mad. And perhaps one of the biggest rocket fanatics here today is Ari Parainen. And by the look of his craft, the bigger, the better. Well, Ari, this is cool. This is very exciting. There's so many people here. There's a crowd. They're all so excited to see these rockets. Sure. I mean, what is today about for you? For me, personally, I just love it. Love coming to the monthly. Every month we launch rockets here, and it's something that is uh, I really love doing. It's a passion, grown since I was a child. Mm -hmm. And for me to do this, honestly, it's like a boyhood dream coming true. Yeah. Okay, and of course, Queensland rocketry, it's, it's grown quite a lot since yes. it started, hasn't it? It sure has. Uh, it started with uh, six members in uh, May 2007 and uh, at the moment around 47 plus mm -hmm. their families mm -hmm. and it's growing monthly when people realize you can do this hobby and um, basically every month one or two more people join and it's just growing and this, this public uh, launches are fantastic way to promote it. Of course, it's not just the seasoned pros like Ari that can get involved. Rockets can just as easily be a family event. Oh, work. There we go. Now, here we have Robert and Austin. This is a father-son team. Guys, how long have you been doing this for? We've been doing it just under, just under a year now. Just under yeah, a year? Wow. Yeah. We were involved just mid last year. We came to a first few launches to have a look. Okay. And well, have, how have your rockets been going today? Good today. Good. A little bit of wind today, so there's a bit of drift, but we're, we're allowing to put in the launch rods just, yep. to, just to get it to, to come back to where, we, where we're launching from. Okay. Are you a good team? What do you think, Dan? Yeah. yeah, you're a pretty good, good rocketeer. Yes. He's got the highest flying rocket. Does he really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, what do you like most about the old rockets? When I get to beat Daddy when I when we go racing. Yeah. And what do your friends think at school? Mm, cool. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I'm jealous. I wish I had a rocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I might step back and let you do your thing. Okay. okay. All right. Thank bye you. bye. Make sure that's okay. Of course, not all launches end the way they're supposed to. Now, this is what happens when things don't go exactly according to plan. I have Cart with me, and he is the owner and creator of this rocket. Now, what happened? Um, basically, we launched it launched this one to about 2,000 feet, and uh, it didn't have enough uh, pressure in the uh, ejection charge to push the parachute out, so it fell from about 2,000 feet and uh, hit the ground. Straight down, no Straight parachute down. whatsoever. No parachute. <laughs> now, when you, when you got this uh, from the earth, did you find that it was dug in quite a lot, or? Yeah, well, it was, it was dug in up to about here, into the ground, and the rest of the rocket was lying beside it. It's a sad day for this rocket indeed, but Carter assures me all is not lost and that it can even be repaired. Hopefully the old shoot works better next time. But uh, I'll be steering clear just in case. Ah yes, the rocket people are an interesting breed, but there's no denying their rockets will blow your socks off.